Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And today is a very special episode. You know why? Because it's an update episode. Uh, yes, we've had, actually had a bit of a big update, and uh, that's why I had to push the last episode out. Because there's been uh, some big changes. Uh, one of the big changes is... Uh, let, me, let me open up my inventory here. Uh, everybody starts now with an emergency tool. This is an emergency multi-tool that you always have. Uh, it is using it uses suit power only. It does not use batteries. And this is something that you always have. And every time you hit T, it'll bring up that one. You can tell by the yellow and black stripes on it. Uh, to bring up your multi-tool, uh, when you actually make a Mark II, Mark, I think it might be a Mark I now, but you know the actual multi-tool, you actually have to put it on your hotbar to use it. Uh, this one will not use batteries, it, or not use suit power, it uses batteries only. So you always have to have this on your hotbar, and you always have to use batteries. And it's a good thing I actually made a whole stack of them. Uh, next, update, next thing we have with this update is a bit of a big game changer for just about everybody that plays survival. Uh, ore deposits now deplete over time. I've actually been here for about two weeks in game now probably a good hour trying to gather up a ton of resources trying to get ready for skylab here and uh yeah it's been crazy but there we go we are completely out of resources and believe it or not i'm actually short of short on iron i need to gather about a stack and a half of iron today before we can build today's project so yes uh i don't know how long it takes but apparently there's only a, a finite amount of materials you can take out of the, each to, each vein before it runs out. Um, from what I've read, and this is just from stuff I read on the forums from friends and other members of the community that you know discover these things, but apparently it's a 25 meter radius. So I won't be able to place another miner down for probably about a 30 meters away, so probably like where that tall tree is over there, I could probably drop another miner down. And this is going to be the same with every ore deposit. Uh, the water pump, however, is not affected, and this being because it goes off the water table. See, it's just, it's just full. No issues there. Now, the next thing we have is we actually have a couple of new to uh, toys to play with. Uh, the first one, we're going to actually make it. i got to see if I actually have enough resources for it. Uh, yes, we have a mover tool now. This A mover tool. And this will actually allow us to move structures around. So we're going to go ahead and make one of these. I did make the uh, ALMs, but I need to get uh, some materials. And we'll go over to the replicator with the long, long strip of containers on the end of it here. Now... I have, as, as you can see, just about everything I need to build the current state of Skylab right now. It's going to take about four and a half minutes to make, but I'm about 140 frames short, which means I'm about 140, 140 iron short. So that is a lot of materials. Now this cost here, just for the Skylab, is about one-tenth the cost of the helicarrier. Now I want to I want to actually try to build this in survive build that in survival. Uh, whether or not it's actually going to work, I have no idea. So I need. We'll just take a stack of those. Uh, well, what did I need? I'm sorry, I forgot. I don't think it was. I think it was mechanical parts and circuits. Fair enough. So we'll do that. And there's another block we have now too, and this is actually a very welcome addition. Is uh, a thermal block, and we'll have a look at that in a second here while I'm making the, the mover tool. Uh, what it is is basically a radiator air conditioner. And that comes in really handy because even when you're in a cockpit or something like that, you still get affected by the weather. So let's go in here, and there it is there. Uh, uses two SC electronic parts, four Mark II composites, one plate, and two frames. So let's actually check this out. It does need to be powered. It uses 300 watts. It weighs about 300 kilos. I need frames. Of course I do. And I got nothing in here. Actually, I'd, no, I don't. Now, give me a second. No, good. I had to uh, go into the replicator box here and grab a few things and just got to print off one of these. Actually, I needed, uh, yes, these three here. All right. And I didn't even have to get the the circuits because I realized I had some in there already. Anyways, so let's go put this right in the corner. Not that I actually need it here, but let's have a look at it. It is a new block, and actually looks kind of interesting. 
Uh, let's see if we can actually color this. And I gotta stop using T because that was using my that, but I guess it doesn't really matter. It saves on the batteries, right? Let's see if we can color this thing. Ooh. We can't. Oh, there we go. New decoration. That's what we need. We need more blocks. There we go. Nice and hot. Anyway, so now uh, let's grab some power. See if we can interact with it. Ooh, it lights up too. Oh, that is really nice. And just turn it on and off. Disconnect. Rename. Usual. That is really cool. And it's switchable. I like it. Okay, so is the mover tool ready? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. 15 seconds. So now the question is, what do I want to move? I'm not going to move my base. I'm going to take my chance. I'm going to be safe. I'm going to try moving one of the miners. See if we can actually move it somewhere. I should grab some circuits too so I can make some switchboards. Alright, so there we go. We have a mover tool. Apparently this uses batteries as well. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. That was my neighbor. Anyways, uh, yes, we have multi uh, mover tool. So now, yes, it does use power. Batteries. Well, they better get us some uh, proper biomass production because these tools are going get, to get expensive on the batteries. Going to deforest the planet in no time. Anyway, let's try this. I have absolutely no idea how this thing works. But it's uh, fun finding out. Alright, so. Really? It moves the block? Uh, I can only move one block. That is cool. And you can rotate it too. This could be interesting. This could be really interesting. And look, it's getting ores. That's awesome. That's cool. That's a shame. I thought I was going to actually move more than one block at a time, but this might come in handy. Possibly. Maybe they'll be able to tweak it a little bit. Who knows? Anyways, uh, let's see what time this is. It's getting late. Let me... Uh, Bring on the more, and then we'll go on a bit of an iron hunt and get the get our Skylab up and running. Oh, there was one other thing too. We can make uh, custom POI, uh, make custom locations on the, on the maps here now. And it's just a matter of right clicking, but I haven't been able to find a way to actually get rid of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place one right here. Oh, one, let me place it there. Uh, actually, down here. Because I had that one spot that I wanted to uh, possibly build at. So we go ahead and do that. But as far as I know, there's no way to actually change it. And I wanted to check the C menu if it would come up. And no, it doesn't. Now, unfortunately, once it's there, you can't get rid of it. You can't rename it. can't do anything. But it will always be on the beacon or on the compass. So 12 kilometers away. I can see it's 12 kilometers away. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and the morning rain seemed to last a little longer than it usually does. Anyways, we need iron. I need iron. Stack and a half iron, to be exact. There's some up there, but you got those brands over there. I don't really feel like dealing with those guys right now. Uh, in fact, let's go take the rover out. I haven't driven around in a while lately. Got to give my uh, my wings a break. Been flying around too much. So let's hop in here, we turn that on, hop in, and off we go. See what I should have done is I should have actually turned the beacon off of there. But you can't rename them, can't label them or anything like that, so it's kinda uh, kinda redundant, but it comes in handy. Uh, the reason why I marked that location in particular is because I'm thinking about possibly setting up the big production facility there. Okay, is anybody around? No, we are good. Ugh. I hate that thing. I'm really starting to hate it already. Alright, let's see if there's actually anything down here. No, there isn't. Anyway, so all I really care about is just finding these boulders. Got what I can. Make sure there's nobody around. 
I was clearing out some trees earlier. There's a big firefly nest there. And, yeah, it wasn't too hard taking them out, but you never know these days. What with mutations and all. All right, let's go out and get these ones. At least they pay out pretty good. I don't think I'll get iron from here. I'll uh, grab it anyways. But yeah, that's going to be what I'm going to do for the next five minutes or so. So I'll just cut to the chase and I'll bring you back when I've got everything ready to go. <sighs> so I'm driving around. I see something move over the corner of my eye. Yeah, those large suspension screwed up again. Well, I'll have to write my rut when we get back. Okay, I got the last couple, last couple dozen frames printing. Yeah, I really didn't want to use a large suspension on these, on this thing. Uh, unfortunately, the large suspension I've noticed tends to have its issues. So let's see if we can actually write this thing. Nope, that's not what I want to do. I don't know why I can even access that from there. All right, flight mode. Let's get out of here. And because I'm upside down, the air blades are going to write themselves. They should. Yes. Because what's happening is I'm lifting up. And the air blades will always orient orientate themselves so they're pushing down. So that's not a big, 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 big issue. But what I suggest is if you do that blueprint this or download this from the workshop and blueprint it uh, do what I'm gonna do and that's I, I'm gonna actually plant this thing I've never trusted a large suspension I've had nothing but problems with it and of course I don't have any frames don't go anywhere I'm watching you I'm watching you Actually, I probably only need the plates because I'm not going to com complete it. I'm just going to build the frames. But we should have everything ready to go now. So I'm going to go like that. And there we go. There. It will not go anywhere. So this is going to be it. This is going to be the big finale. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned. Let's not go in here. But uh, yeah, uh, the. That location I marked on the map there is actually going to be where we're going to be setting up the big production facility. I still want to do something like that where I'm bringing in all the resources in uh, spe uh, special containers, like conveyor loading systems and the whole nine yards. Oh, look at that. I have enough. All right, let's build this. Oh, God, this is huge. Now, I have to have this planted. So I might have to clear a few trees out by the looks of it. Yeah, I think so. There's absolutely no way to see how big this is going to be. I'm going to have to remove some trees, I think. Oh yeah, that's right, rocks and all that stuff too. Or am I just out of range? I don't know. First time I ever used this thing in survival. And I can build it up there. And it's going to attract trees. I might have to move some trees out of the way. Like, clear all this out. Oh, hello. And clear out the neighbors, too. Yeah, I got some trees to remove. Give me a moment. Okay, after clearing out a uh, family of uh, space deer, whatever they are called. I need to say, I <laughs> lost a few battles. I haven't died, but I have room. So this is going to take four minutes. Four and a half minutes. So, yeah, let's, uh, we're waiting. Maybe we'll... Does this need power or something? Or is it actually working? What is it doing? Oh, okay, you actually start to see stuff materializing there. That's cool. Yeah, I've always seen this instantaneous with uh, creative. But yeah, uh, one of the things I want to explore a little more, like I would plan on doing a couple of revisits. One of them would be 
Um, oh my, my vitals are low. Uh, sort of looking back at uh, robotic arm. Uh, you know, I started learning a little more about my timers and hover pads and stuff like that. And with the last couple of builds and season two, the, the walkers and stuff like that. So I want to try a few things, see about getting better, like servo control and whatnot, and see where that goes. See what kind of things we can do with it. Yeah. Dare I walk into it? No, oh, it's a wall. Oh, it gives you a progress bar too. You actually look at it. It is slowly moving. But yeah, and then for the miners, like I, I'm thinking about getting a different, like different theme, sort of different building themes for each particular mine, right? Like uh, I'm not gonna give any spoilers, but you know, like I've already got sort of ideas designed, implant or ideas planned for uh, the aluminum mine, the the cobalt mine. The cobalt mine is gonna be uh, an interesting one. This is actually going pretty fast. I'm actually surprised. This feels amazing. Like, look at this. That tiny little thing there. And I farmed for about two weeks in game to build this. And I don't have to build anything because I built it already. I can't even remember what all I had on here. I think I was just at the point of uh, getting the rest of the furnishings in. I know I got the greenhouses in there. Don't know if I have any generators or not. Uh, I know we got a big beacon in the main room there, and uh, if you haven't seen the Skylab project, I'll show you that once this is all done, but I have a, probably not here, but I'll, each section here is more or less articulated. It's got a hinge in between there. It's all going to be supported by air blades, so as you're walking and driving around, it should sort of flow like it's on water. And I do have a conveyor system. That's why I need the quantum electronic parts. You can actually see it here. This is the conveyor pipe going all the way around. So I need a 1400 mechanical parts for this thing. And I'm not even done with this yet. Uh, this is going to be the power room over here. There's going to be the greenhouse over there. This is going to be the main, the main living quarters where machinery and all that stuff is done. I was thinking about having like a couple of a lining pad or two here. Uh, that's the main drive over there. And this is going to be where the fun be all the magic happens. I got two ba four banks of solar panels, two there, two there, two there, two there. I have, I don't know if I put the batteries in yet, but I plan on having a lot of batteries. I got some over there and some over there and over there. And uh, I need, what was it? Uh, I think one side was going to be a miner, a drop down miner on a conveyor system, similar to what I had with the big base bus, like the, the new one. And then the other side was going to be a water pump. And basically, it was going to be a self-sustaining flying base. You'd be able to go around. It was all going to be deuterium-powered and run off, you know, running off of solar panels. Or you just drop your water pump down, you get your water. Drop your miner down, you get your carbon, and you're good to go. So we are almost done here. How much? How much longer? Oh, there it is. Oh, we are almost finished. That's just insane. It would have been nice if they had like little drones running around building everything oh there it is there's that lag spike all right so let me uh bring back the day here and we'll have a look at it look at it shimmer in the morning sun not to make sure i was actually hitting the recording key i don't always pay attention to what i'm pushing on the keyboard sometimes but there we go so as you can see i don't know if you've seen how i built it but as i was building i was planting each individual section where the hinges are just, I know they do a lock, but a certain amount of force and they will bend. So I'll give you a quick tour of what my plan was here. So right here is going to be basically the, the loading ramp for your vehicles. What happened here? Yeah. That might be fixable. But yeah, it was supposed to be big enough where you could actually drive on it. I don't know why that is all crooked. I'm going to have to inspect everything now. To be a blueprint thing. And yeah, uh, so my idea was on here, this was all, everything was going to be supported up, up by air blades. Uh, there was going to be like some air blades at the end of the ramp here, and then air blades. On, ooh, 
on this section here. And basically when you powered it, this ramp was going to lift up and the whole section was going to lift up and sit parallel with the rest of the base. And then when you hit the button, it would drop drop down and create a ramp to be able to drive up and down with the rover in case you wanted to go do some exploring and check out a, a wreck that you're flying over. And uh, yeah, and then we go over here. That was That's going to be the power room. I think I was going to stick more, most of the batteries in here, probably make the roof out of it, throw some more solar panels on. Over here we have the, the greenhouses. Uh, again, I haven't finished much of this. Uh, there was conveyor connections here. Uh, I was thinking about having some of the conveyor pipes going over top and having the air blades actually attach to them. Okay. Oh, those aren't actually connected. Interesting. Yeah, because they're supposed to turn green when they're actually connected. I want to check the rest of them here. Hmm. I wonder if that's got to do with no... I'm sorry, no containers kind of hooked up to it. It's just conveyors right now. I don't think there's any way to actually configure these things. No, there isn't. Yeah, so that was going to be it. So yeah, there's the solar rays, and that's how it's all going to be. And we have a lot of work to do on this. Oh, oh that's no good. The blueprint broke my build. Hmm. That's a waste of resources. I want to see if a, a reload will fix this. Apparently not. Well, that won't be too hard to fix. Like, that's just uh, an extension. I'm not too worried about that. I do want to check the rest of them, though before we end this here, make sure everything's okay. So these ones here I'd be more worried about because they have other stuff connected to it, right? This one here was broken, I'd be a little upset, but that's fine, that's fine. Go over here. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention too, we're actually in a, a updated Unity version too, so. Uh, I have been noticing a slight improvement. Uh, it's gotten a little laggy since I brought this thing in, but that's, no surprise. Okay. Well, other than uh, the mining area over there and the end of the ramp, we seem to be okay. Uh, I wonder if I had to do with just the, the landscape that I was trying to put it on. Did that actually get embedded in the ground? Oh my god. Yeah, but I can dig that out. That's no big deal. I'm going to have a little bit of work to get a redo, but... We have a lot of work we have to do on the wall. There's a weird lighting glitch, but yeah, we still have a lot of work to do on this project. It's going to be quite some time. All right, even though they're not lit up, everything is connected. That is good. These are all uh, the small containers I've had connected because uh, in order to get these things to actually work, they have to have some sort of storage actually connected to them. Why they're not turning green, I have no idea. But anyways, I think we're going to call it here. It's cold, it's wet. It's been a long two weeks trying to get this thing up and built. Just to find a couple of broken hinges, but at least I didn't have too much work done on this. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh oh Later. <laughs>